everybody. Okay, so I need a new haircut place, but I don't know what I'm gonna do, because this is always a nerve-wracking experience. I will say, to her credit, the last girl to cut my hair, she tried her best to put me at ease right away by just staring at me for a while. <laughs> before finally saying, hmm, basketball? I'm like, no, my, my name is Sammy, and I don't play basketball. So she paused, she stared at me again for a while before finally saying, why are you tall then? <laughs> and here's the thing, I actually completely understand where this woman was coming from. <laughs> because just like my being a queer and trans person, my height was a total choice. <laughs> and listen, it's my fault. I spent my whole childhood just stretching, stretching, stretching. One day, that's little kid me, one day if I play my cards right, I am going to have an awkward conversation in a salon. So many of them. Okay, so one thing you need to know about me is that I am an animal person, okay? I am the friend who goes to your party and hangs out in the corner with your cat. I have on more than one occasion crouched down in a park and spoken to a squirrel across the park. <laughs> You're like, hey, little squirrel. Uh, as if the squirrel's gonna respond like, hey. If, but instead the response I get is all of the people who I forgot were around me <laughs> are just judging me, kind of like a lot of you. It, it hurts, it, it, you know, but uh, and I, I, I called my parents who, to have a conversation with my dog who they are watching, like a real conversation, <laughs> okay? So when I tell you, I've given you these examples, when I tell you that I have found the place where you lose me, you know it's significant. But I was just invited to a cat mitzvah? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> The next day, I was invited to a puppy's first birthday party. I was still fuming, and I'm like, I'm sorry, best friend. I can't do it. I was then invited to the birthday party for a snake. And uh, you can probably guess what I said. I said, fuck, maybe. Because I don't know. I don't know about the rest of you. I kind of need to know what that is. <laughs> but then they went ahead and made it weird. They invited my friend who has hamsters. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. We're, we're not, I'm not going to be part of this. This, this is not going to be good. Uh, I am a queer person, uh, but uh, I've been really trying to figure out what my type is. Uh, and it's been hard because I can find people attractive of all genders, all body types, uh, all presentation. But I figured it out, okay? I did some self-exploration. I put some work in. My type is total, complete weirdos. <laughs> and I will, I, I gotta clarify so the wrong people don't get excited. <laughs> I mean cute, weird. I mean sweet, weird. I am not talking about scary. Okay, so like, if, if you uh, make me fear for my life, we do not have a future. If I am thinking, oh my God, I could end up in their basement, we do not have a future. I hope. But if you have a dinosaur costume, wow. If you have a mushroom farm in your apartment, whew, give, me, give me a second, give me a second. If you speak Elfish, Latin, and Dothraki, oh baby, sign me the hell up. That is it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Woo! <laughs>